Philippians chapter 4 wa Philippians 4 verse 19 mstari wa 19 God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus and my God will supply all my needs Mungu atatimiza mahitaji yangu yote according to his riches kulingana na utajili wake ndani ya utukufu through Christ Jesus pitia kwa Christo Yesu thank you so much God bless you Asante Mungu akubariki and my God na Mungu wangu will supply atatimiza tonight leo usiku leo if there is anything you will go back home with kama kuna kitu utaenda nyumbani nacho begin to understand Ansa kuelewa it has come from the lord imetoka kwa mungu tonight usiku wa leo stop focusing kuweka mtasamo on that boss kwa huyo bossi who has promised you a job ambaye amekuahidi kazi raise your standard a little bit inua kiwango chako go back to genesis 1:1 and let it mwanzo moja moja in the beginning anasema hapo mwanzo mungu in the beginning of my job mwanzo wa kazi yangu God shall supply Mungu atatimiza all i need mahitaji yangu yote in the name of Jesus usiku wa leo katika jina la Yesu chapter 100 saburi 100 calls us in the ship of his past yani kono wa malisho yake in other words kwa provides for us kwa maneno mengine inatimiza mahitaji yetu are you after your hands making profit uko nataka mikono yako itengeneze faida go back to god elejelea mungu tell him teach me how to make money mambia nifundishe jinsi ya kutengeneza faida haleluya haleluya umetongoza wanaume imetosha amen umetongoza kama ni urembo uko nayo yes kama ni maneno mazuri uko nayo kama ni sura nzuri uko nayo yes hata wengine imebidi mkuwe na pesa yes ndio mjaribu ku host hawa jamaa yes. lakini bado imeshindikana go back to him lejelea mnetelea tell him mwambie take me back to where you took me from nirudishe mali ulinitoa god took adam into a moment of sleep yani mungu akampeleka adam kwa uzingizi a moment of darkness wakati wa such as the one in which you are kama ila ambayo uko ndani and out of him kutoka kwake in the very darkness katika ile god pulled out mungu akafuta what adam never knew it was inside of him kile adam hakuwa anajua kiko ndani tonight in the name of jesus usiku wa leo katika jina la yesu recognize him as god wakati unamtambua kama mungu he is yet to pull out of you yanaenda kufuta kutoka ndani yako in relation to the seed kuhusiana na mbegu that you never knew was inside of you huko unaijua iko ndani yako sometime now wakati mwingine sasa you have to take religion away lazima utoe udini kidogo introduce him na mtambulishe as god kama mungu he is god by himself yeye ni mungu kiviaga he was not created akumbwa he is not generic as science calls him yeye hakusababishwa na sayansi he is unique and peculiar in his dealings with men ni wa kipekee kwa matendo yake kwa wanadamu he can deny somebody an opportunity to give it to you anaweza nyima mtu fursa akupe wewe I know of men and women who carry the favor of God in this house. And a client can pass 10 shops. Just to come and buy from your shop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you sick? Wewe ni mgonjwa. Recognize him as a healer. Tambua yeye kama mponyaji. You want to start a business. Unataka kuanza biashara. Recognize him as God who teaches our hands how to make profit. Mtambue kama Mungu anayefundisha mikono yetu kutengeneza faida. Alpha and Omega. Mwanzo tena mwisho. Are you looking for a husband for a wife? Unatafuta mume ama mke. Begin to recognize. Anza kumtambua. That if there is anything that shall take place in your life. Kama kuna kitu inaweza tetekeka katika maisha yako. It is because you have received the favor from ni kwa sababu mboke ya kibali kutoka kwa Mungu. So how many agree with me that we are giving God the first priority? Wangapi wanakubaliana nami kwa sababu tunapata Mungu fursa ya kwanza? And may honor follow you in Jesus name. Wataheshima ikakufuata katika jina la Yesu. And my God shall supply all I need. Na Mungu atakuweza kutimiza mahitaji yangu. According to his riches. Kulingana na utajiri wake. 
in glory kwa utukufu number 2 ya pili in glory kwa utukufu if there is anything god is going to do for you kama kuna kitu mungu anaenda kutenda kwako then it is because he's seeking to glorify kwa sababu anatafuta kujitukuza if he's going to heal that cancer kama atafanya hiyo saratani it is not because you've prayed so much si kwa sababu uliomba sana or given a lot ama ukatoa sana or met the right preacher pako ukakutana mtu kaji mzuri because god has chosen to glorify himself kwa sababu mungu ametamua kumchitukuza i mentioned here some time back nikoe kwa wakati mwingine wa kunyuma i said god does not eat the manna nikajua ku mungu haikulange manna he does not eat eftata akulange vitata he does not eat amasoti amasoti akulange god eats the glory anakula utukufu he does not glorify himself achitukuzi mwenyewe in the areas of your opportunities katika hali ya fursa zako in the areas of your strength katika maeneo ya he glorifieth himself anachitukuza in the areas of your weakness katika upeo wa udhaifu wako in the areas of your threat upeo wa mguu wangu kwako in the name of jesus usiku wa leo katika jina la yesu he is going to answer your prayer kama nenda kujibu maombi yako it is because ni kwa sababu he is seeking to glorify himself kakujitukuza i were you kama ningekuwa wewe change my attitude to ask god badilisha dhamira yangu kuwa nyeke mungu positive and i fanye ikawe nzuri tena to pray and say nianze kuomba nikisema god once again mungu mara tena i give you an opportunity ninakupa fursa hii to glorify yourself ukachitukuze my life in the name of jesus maisha yangu katika jina la yesu you may have run out of adjectives wenda umeishiwa na unene or wants to describe your situation but you can kneel down again because there is what this can speak that this can speak and say god asema mungu i allow you to glorify yourself with my life i don't know how you may do it with how i'm struggling with this house i'm struggling with the truth with anxiety with hardship katika mambo mengi broken relationships mahusiano yaliyofunjika school dropouts in my home watoto wangu wanaacha shule tonight oko usiku wa leo katika jina la Yesu with joblessness ninangangana na ukosevu wa kazi with deadly diseases katika mali na magonjwa na maradhi it may be no ili kwamba ikajulikana hold upon your name nalitia jina lako come down tonight shuka usiku wa leo glorify yourself tukuse with my life una maisha yangu so that it may be no ili kwamba ikajulikane yawe is god kwamba yawe ni mungu in jesus name katika jina la yesu god is glorify himself mungu anatajitukuza that is the second prayer hiyo ndio ombi la pili and the third prayer ya tatu ya tatu haleluya haleluya he says anasema and my god Mungu wangu shall supply atatimiza all my needs according yote. to his riches in glory kulingana na utukufu wa Christ Mag- Jesus kupitia Christ Jesus kupitia Christ Jesus kupitia kwa Christ Jesus now listen to me ladies and gentlemen wapendwa there is no way hakuna njia ingine god can save you ngomo mungu anaweza kuokoa unless you recognize christ bako mtabwe kristo i am the only way mimi ndimi njia pekee the true and the life ukweli na mwanga no one comes to the father hakuna mbaya ndaye kwa baba except but by me pasipo kupitia kwa we may say that jesus is you know advocating for himself wakati yesu anatetea okay set jesus aside weka yesu kando come back to god kuja kwa mungu during baptism katika upatiso wa he spoke it out from the heavens alimena kutoka mbinguni in the years of every witness katika masikio ya kila washuhuda he said this is my only begotten son huyu ni mwanangu wa pekee in whom i am well pleased ndani yake nimependezwa naye listen to him musikize miracles begin with the relationships miujiza anza kwa mahusiano i'm really sorry that i meet a lot of people naomba radhi kwa maana kutana na wengi who are like pastor pray with me naona sema omba mna mimi pastor help me trust god on that ni saidia ni tumainie mkoa ile people that don't worship god watu ambao wamwabudu mungu and people that do not go in the worship service of god watu ambao waende katika ibada ya kuabudu they don't give their offering they don't give their tithe they don't give their sacrifice 
sacrifice I am telling you ladies and gentlemen however much you pray if you are not in Christ Jesus God will still be confident enough to see you suffer in your moments to see you go in the grave I encourage that if there is anybody in the house that is not born again run to the altar tonight that we introduce Christ to you the beginning of the miracles you need God has deposited all the resources you need in the blood of Jesus in the blood of the covenant the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel if you are in the house you are not even sure whether you are born again or not I encourage you to come here right now so that we begin now is there anybody who is not born again or you are born again but you don't know whether you are born again don't be ashamed just lift up your hands we will lead in a very simple prayer Thank you, God, because they are all born again. Now, I pray that the heavens get open and give you what you need tonight as you cry to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Stand up on your feet, somebody. I want you in only five minutes you pray those three points. God, I recognize you as the beginning of my life. God, if there is anything I will allow you to do, then is to let you get glorified in my life. And number three, God, I am part of the covenant that was initiated on the old ratchet cross of Calvary through Christ. As I spoke of it last time, Jesus does not come to raise Lazarus from the dead because he was merciful. He comes to raise Lazarus because Lazarus was a family friend. They related. Jesus, I relate with you. Make those three confessions. You can make it in your own language. You can make it in your own language. While you lift up your hands. If you feel you want to kneel down, you can do it. And that is opening the door for the Lord to work in your life. You will experience the relevance in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray now. Somebody pray. Don't be ashamed. Mention it before the Lord. You are opening a door for yourself. And if you are here, you have a blood disease. After you've made that prayer, go back to your doctor after here. And confirm that it shall be well. Because you are receiving the help of God. Receive the help of God as you pray that prayer. Receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. To some of you, God is adding up to your anointing. And God is adding up to your revelation. Yes, pray. Don't be ashamed. You are in the house of your father. You can lie on the floor if you want. <laughs> Yes, I see deliverances now. Deliverances. Deliverances. Unigozete Maratena Unigozete Maratena Unigozete Maratena Unigozete
Akakuza pindo la mazilako Atapata kufanyika salama Ena mimi leo kwana na wino mtazama wangu kwako Ena kuomba katika jina la yeso Eya kwamba mtakatipo mtakatipo Ikuze nyumba yangu tena Ikuze kikombe changu tena Kuze kazi ya mikono yangu tena Kuze maana pamwito wangu tena Ekuza umimbaje huyu bwana Ekuza mubiri huyu bwana Ekuza huyu mwalimu wa neno Ekuza mchumba huyu wa mtu Eka teka jina la yeso Kuza 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 mtakatifu Kuza kuza mtakatifu Kampalme wa mani kuza If you feel like you want to cry, just burst out into cry. No, you can't be that comfortable. You can't be that comfortable. Unless you are not tired of that situation. You can't be that comfortable. Wengine hapa mesomesha watoto, hamuoni matunda ya yale makaratasi, hamuoni matunda ya school fees, and documents zinakaa kwa nyumba, mtoto maanza kuingia katika ndoa zikivunjika, and you can't. You are that quiet. You can't be that comfortable. Tonight, say God, punch, punch those degrees, those diplomas, those certificates with the fire. Mwamiyo Ori ninase Omuri Ina wanche Katamu Luche Ndolo ache Dalache Dalinawe Omwamiyo Ori ninase Omuri Help your people, Lord. Help your people. 
help your people now in the name of Jesus help your people help your people oh Lord yes Lord thank you you are helping your people now receive recovery 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 in the name of Jesus recovery him forgive him glorify his life let it be well with him Hallelujah. bless him bless him break break what he could not break break what he could not break in the name of Jesus standard for him raise a standard of living raise a standard of living for him raise a standard <laughs> oh, raise a standard for him raise a standard raise a standard destroy what he could not destroy speak to his situation that it shall be well for so says the Lord Help him, help him, help him, help her. I allow you to prophesy to him, oh, because there is grace in the house. Yo dai fu amili wanyama ya mili, amekuwa kesubukana na yo mtangazi katika china la Yesu. Wakati o inafika mwisho, inatoka katika nyama zake katika china la Yesu. Nena. Na hizo degrees hizo vieti vya watoto wake mtangazie katika jina la Yesu wapate kazi wapate amani ya Bwana pesa zianze kuingia katika mikono wasipitwe na wakati katika jina la Yesu bariki hayo maisha bariki bariki hata kama na kuonanga kwa mtu wa kawaida bariki hayo maisha Bless his life. Amen. 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 Amen.
God, make sure you hold a hand. We came because we love you. In spite of the moments, in spite of the programs, let it be known by the heavens and the earth. The reason we are here is because we love you. Let us see your love now. Let this blood of Jesus we confess speak relevance in our lives. It speaketh better than the blood of Abel. Let it speak forgiveness. Let it speak a calling. Let it speak justification. And thereafter glorification. And again we give you a clap offering with the shouts of joy with the shouts of joy with the shouts of joy as we say thank you hallelujah 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 hallelujah